HitFilm Sensei here. Today, in this video, we are going to do this very elegant but extremely simple and easy to do lower third. Let's do it. So you might say to yourself, wow, that looks kind of complicated, but actually it's really easy, but it's still a very elegant little lower third. So let's do it. I'm going to take my raw footage and drop it here into the editor timeline. I'm going to expand the timeline a little bit just because I like to see my whole footage on there. And then I'm going to make a new composite shot and I'm going to call it lower third, but you can call it whatever you want. You want to call it George or Fred, feel free. I am going to make it only four seconds long. And I know it's supposed to be eight seconds, but you're gonna see why in a second. So the first thing I need to do is create a text for the lower third. So I'm just going to draw myself a text box and then I'm gonna type in my text letters. And it looks something like that. I'll, col I'll control A to get highlight it all. Uh, I'll click on the text tab and I'm just going to expand the size of that maybe a little bit about right there looks good all right now I'm going to create a new layer and it's going to be a plain layer I want it to be white and I'm going to label it as a white plane and click OK and I'm actually going to turn off the visibility of it so I can see through it uh, I'm going to use my right mouse wheel and just bring it over a bit so that I can grab my rectangular mask tool and I'm just going to draw a line underneath it so that way when I turn back on the uh, visibility you can see that that's pretty much what I want my lower third to look like now I'm gonna go back out to the editor timeline and I am going to drag this lower third right on here and I'm gonna take a look yeah that's pretty good I think we'll go with that I could move that around a bit I could put it over here I could do whatever you know it doesn't really matter as long as you like it that's what's important alright so now we just have to animate everything so we're gonna go to the one second mark that's when the letters are going to finish and under the letters or the text I'm gonna open up the transform properties and I'm gonna keyframe the position and I'm gonna go ahead and make that a smooth keyframe I wanna back up about 10 frames or so but again that's sort of to choice but I like about 10 frames and then I'm gonna drag the letters down underneath the line and again I want that to be a smooth keyframe so now it just goes like that okay now at the 10 frame mark about 10 frames before that I want the line to end where it comes in so again I'm going to twirl open the transform properties and I'm going to keyframe the position and I like me some smooth keyframes so we're going to make it smooth I'm going to go back to the very beginning and then I am just going to drag the line off the screen to the left just like that and again I want it to be a smooth keyframe so now I'm I have all the animation done it's gonna the line comes out and then the letters come up now the problem you'll notice is what well the letters are still there right yeah so we need to hide them when they're below the line the way that we're going to do that is by setting a matte area I'm gonna use this white plane again okay but I'm gonna turn off the invisibility because the visibility because it doesn't need to be visible but I am gonna relabel this as the mat that I'm going to use and then I'm just going to reposition it to where I want to when I set the mat it only shows it when it's above the line so what I'm gonna do is go to my effects panel and I'm gonna look for set mat and I'm gonna drag the set mat effect into the text itself and then I'm gonna twirl it open and I'm gonna source the mat layer okay so now as you can tell when it goes below where the mat is and that's that black area up here then it is not visible anymore right but the problem with that is is when we go out to the editor the whole mat's visible here so we can't have that so back to the lower third I'm gonna find uh, actually I'm gonna make a new grade layer and I'm gonna make sure that it is on top because that will affect all of the layers below it and then I'm gonna look for a key and that is the demult key if I drop the demult key it basically says make everything that's black transparent so now we're good so now if we come back out here you can see that it just goes out and then up oh doesn't that look lovely but then it just goes away so what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna take my lower third and I'm gonna drop it right next to itself again and then in the effects panel I'm going to look for the time reverse effect and I'm just gonna make the whole thing go backwards on the way out so now the whole thing looks like this hit film sensei here Today, in this video, we are going to do this 
very elegant, but extremely simple and easy to do lower third. Let's do it. Notice how on the reverse side of it, it just sort of kept going and stayed where it was at. And then it reverse went back and then away. So that's pretty much how you do it in a nutshell. Hey, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.